I am actually, you know, physical tremors in my hands and my legs, so pretty nervous. But Wayne thinks his wife, Anna, is just as stressed, dealing with a tricky situation back home in Norfolk. I've got two young sons, and both of my sons have just got chicken pox. Um, so, yeah, she's under pressure at home at the moment as well. What are they, do you think? Uh, they're dangly bits. Dangly bits. Definitely dangly bits. Really helpful, thanks, Leo. Wayne is hoping that bagging a dragon investor can make his part-time business start going through the gears. At the moment, I do still work five days a week at software companies, and so it's a little bit of a juggling act to work this in my spare time. Hi, I'm Wayne. I'm the founder of Rehook, and I'm looking for £50,000 for a 15% share in the company. Rehook is the original tool that gets your chain back on your bike without the mess. It's really lightweight, and it attaches onto your bike frame, so it's always ready whenever you need it. It's very simple to use. If your chain comes off, simply grab the chain with the tool, put it over the top, spin, and you're back on your bike. I had the idea for the tool after dropping a chain on the way to a meeting and arriving late with oil-stained hands and a soiled shirt. There was no effective solution on the market, so I developed the product. Over the last two and a half years, we've done £150,000 in revenue on roughly 40% year-on-year growth. All of this has been achieved in my spare time, outside of working full-time at a startup company, renovating a house, as well as having two young sons. Thank you for listening. Why don't we go up and have a look? A tool for getting a slip chain back on a bicycle is the product that software developer Wayne Taylor is hoping will hook a dragon. Can you do it without the tool now? <laughs> yes. Yeah, I'll do it, I'll do it, yeah. I'll do it. You'll get, will you get greasy hands? Is there grease yeah, all over Yeah, of course I'm going to get greasy hands. Oh. You can't make a normal of that breaking an egg. Wayne's offering to hand over 15% of his company in return for £50,000. Right. Can yeah. you show us your hands? <laughs> I mean, that wouldn't stop me going into a meeting, would it? Tej Lalvani is first to get to grips with the cycling gizmo. Wayne... So basically, you invented a hook that can rehook, and yeah. that's why it's called rehook. It's yeah. It's a very simple product. It's a finger spanner for a bike. <laughs> yeah, it's you know, it's a specific tool for a specific job. See, I thought I've seen something like this before, where you can use to get the chain back on in a simple way. Um, I mean, there isn't a, a specific tool designed for this purpose, so it's unique. Wait, has it ever concerned you that the reason there is no tool? designed for this purpose. It's because <laughs> there isn't a demand for one. People are quite happy to use their finger. Yeah. But the minute I made that statement, I remembered you said you'd had £150,000 of sales in two and a half years. Yeah. Which actually doesn't fit well with the statement I just made. I actually was in the same point of view when I first started. I was like, is this, is this a real thing? But it's reached a point now where it needs to be taken more seriously, I think. Theo Pafitis back pedals as he realises the entrepreneur's impressive sales figures mean it might be prudent to reserve judgment about his product. Peter Jones now wants to know about Wayne's work commitments that are keeping the bike business a side business. Wayne, what do you do? What's your job? Um, so I work at software companies as a chief technology officer. What do you earn normally? I earn £62,500 at the moment. Do you think that you're going to earn enough money from this to actually have a, a career or a business? Or have you got other ideas that you're going to um, grow? I've got other ideas to bring in to, to rehook and broaden the product range. What's your other ideas? Anything more exciting than this? <laughs> so we've got... Um, We've got a performance cycling um, product as well, which we'd like to sort of introduce for time trialist cyclists. That sounds like a very small niche opportunity. Well, I mean, the number of time trialists is, um, you know, it's vastly increasing. So what's your last year's sales? Um, so we did £80,000 in revenue. £80,000? Yeah. OK, and your net profit? Net profit um, for this last year was £20,000. OK. So, what do you expect to do this year? 
Um, this year, I hope to do 160,000, and based on sort of growth rates we've seen, um, looking at a million pounds revenue over the next three years, which is half a million pounds in year three. The entrepreneur's bold projections about the growth of his business have piqued the interest of all five dragons. Sarah Davies is next to grill the gadgeteer. Win. What impresses me is when you're saying, with very minimal effort, because you're doing this around a busy family life and a job, you've made £80,000 of the sales last year and £20,000 of the profit. That, to me, is you proving that there's a concept. I want to make you an offer, but it's nothing like what you came in asking for. Because I'm sat here thinking, I don't know if this guy should be even giving up his job. So I think I've come up with a compromise. OK. What I'd like to propose you do is, you drop down to just three days a week, so you keep your income coming along, and I'll put the 50,000 into the business, but not to pay your salary, because you're going to keep working, OK? I'm taking all the risk here. So for that, I'd want half of the business with you. <laughs> however, however, if you can repay me my money in 12 months, which should be really easy, I would drop my shareholding down to 30%. Sarah Davies becomes the front runner in the race by tabling an offer. But unusually, she wants the entrepreneur to continue working to give an element of stability within the deal. Earlier, Theo Pafitis manually replaced a chain with a minimum of mess. Has that made him put the brakes on the opportunity to invest? Wayne. I don't agree with Sarah. I think the way she's made an offer to you, it's like you're playing at this. Mm -hmm. You carry on part-time. I think anybody who goes and creates something that replaces a mucky finger and then sells 150,000 quid's worth has convinced me. I can put it into 300 outlets overnight. But my view is, I do want you to pack up what you're doing. Because the value for me is not just this alone. The value is you. So I will give you the £50,000. In return, though, I want 40% of the business. OK. Wayne, you've just had two awful offers. And I would, if I was standing there, feel quite disrespected. <laughs> I think you're incredibly investable and I'm going to offer you all of the money and no buyback options, no stealing nearly all of your company. I'm going to offer you all of the money for 30%. OK. Is that a deal? Don't feel under pressure. Peter Jones undercuts his fellow dragons and offers Wayne better terms for his cycle product business. Tej Lalvani is now ready to have his say on the tightening tool. Wayne, you made quite an impression. And I think there's a lot you can do with this in terms of growing this product. I think internationally, you're scratching the surface. We can sell in so many countries, China, India, the whole world. What's beautiful about it, it's so simple, so I am going to make you an offer too. OK. My offer is £50,000 for 25% of the business. So, Wayne, this is a really nice product. It looks good. I love the branding. It clearly has got a lot about it. People are buying it without really enough exposure. So it won't surprise you that I'm going to make you an offer. I'm going to offer you all of the money. I want 25% of the business. The entrepreneur's product has caused a chain reaction of offers from all five dragons who are now competing to get their claws into a deal. Wayne, before you go and talk to the wall... OK. I'd like to work with you. 
and I realise my offer is no longer the best offer on the table. I stand by that I want a controlling stake in your business until I'm paid back. But I'd be willing to drop to 25% longer term. I have done exactly what you've done. My journey is exactly the journey you're about to go on. The difference is I did it in the craft market, you're about to do it in the cycling market, which is a bigger market and a bigger opportunity. This is now a bit boring. Exactly. Wayne, would you like to just think before you get bombarded with a load of words? Wayne, go to the back, have a chat with yourself and have a reflection. Before you do that, Wayne, the only person who's got proper distribution is me. That's not true. Of course it is. Where are you going to put it into? Camera shop. Wayne, yeah. Wayne, go and think There's about so it. much noise. Why don't you go to the back? It's a little bit quieter. Thank you. Thank you all. After a bit of dragon argy-bargy, Wayne has five offers to mull over. Sarah Davies will halve her demand for 50% of the company once her money is paid back. Theo Pafitis is offering to place the product in his 300 retail outlets, but wants 40% in return. Peter Jones wants a smaller 30% stake, whilst Deborah Meaden and Tej Lalvani are both seeking 25% of the business. But all five of the offers are asking for more than the 15% that Wayne is prepared to give away. So I'm absolutely overwhelmed by everybody's uh, response and, yeah, and your offers. But I think um, Deborah, I'd like to <gasps> accept. I am well so pleased. Oh, wow. I am so. I really, I really wanted you. I Thank really. You. Oh, oh, I'm very excited. Well done, you. Yeah. Well done, Abby. Yeah, Thank you well, so done, cool. yeah. well done. Well done. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much, Peter. Yeah, I'm not even going to say well done. I mean, you know, I thought you were brilliant, but obviously with that decision making, oh, I'm, I question it. <laughs> <laughs> On your bike. After a full house of five offers. Deborah Meaden has the trump card and hooks the deal. The cycle gadget entrepreneur rides off into the sunset with a £50,000 investment in his business, a delighted dragon behind him and an exciting future ahead. I can't believe five, five offers. It's just great to get that justification that serious investors believe in it. And that's um, yeah, it's an, an amazing feeling. Look at you all smiles. I am actually really, really yeah, chuffed. <laughs> Well done, but it is only a plastic finger for oh, 50,000 yeah. oh, pounds. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And now the real business begins for Wayne, returning home to two children with chicken pox. I just can't wait to get in touch with my wife. She's actually in quarantine with my sons, so she's going to be so, so pleased. <laughs>